We're back in the kitchen with executive chef John Calora. He's been giving us great baking hacks, as we like to call them, tips to make it easier in the kitchen when maybe you're in there right now trying to do a lot of baking. A lot of people are doing cookies, pies, cakes, all for their friends and family. That's right. It's that time of year. All right. And there's problems that may come up, and you've got some simple fixes. I do. First problem, hard brown sugar. Okay. This happens to me all the time time everyone um, we keep it in our closet over time it gets really hard and dry okay and if you don't have time to get some new brown sugar you can just take a damp paper towel okay pop it in the microwave for about how long I'd say do it in 15 second increments because okay. you're really not going to know how long or how hard it is okay so just a little bit at a time till you get it the consistency that you want and if that's not something you want to do, there's another method you can yeah, do. Yeah, because will that melt it at all if you do it too it will, much? If you do it too much, it will melt okay. a little bit. Or you can just take and just go Look like that. this, and it just comes right off. And you can see it works really that is well. great. Can I, can I touch it? Yeah. Oh, it feels just like, yeah. It feels good, right? Does, this doesn't affect the flavor or anything like that? No, well, you just don't want to get it to a point where you... You melt it so much that it gets like dehydrated or into like a plastic almost because you could kind of almost turn it into like caramel. Okay, that's what much. I was thinking too. Yeah. You'd get, you'd but get you gotta a keep an eye on almost. it for sure. Okay, a lot of problems for folks, and I'm speaking for myself, is burning things. Okay, so even Pillsbury, <laughs> the regular Pillsbury cookies that you buy, and it's a, and you follow the directions, I find a way to always burn them, John. So well, what can you do with that? Well, actually, there's you know a couple of ways that you can burn them. One, you don't set the timer properly, mm -hmm. and you go past your time, and you'll see that the bottom gets really hard. Two, that your oven is probably not calibrated properly, and ah. you think you're cooking at 350, but it's 450. So too hot of an oven. Too hot. Okay. But if you do find yourself with burnt cookies, there is a simple way to fix them. And again, you just take your cheese grater, and you just grate the bottom off. It makes the Look cookie a little that. bit smaller, but you can see that the burnt part is coming off, and then you have a cookie. That is fine. And it's still salvageable. And a lot of times yeah. that's what happens. The bottom's burn, but the inside's still good. The top is still okay. It's right. that bottom that's it touching is. the pan. And that's it. That's I love it. Can. I love it. When you're baking, what is the one thing that you would tell people that's a must, that's a must follow? I mean, obviously directions, but a big, a big mistake that people make. Well, one is obviously the directions and making sure that the heat temperature in your oven is proper. Okay. And measurements have to be exact because the directions for baking is actually an equation. Mm. And if you put too much of something, it's going to affect whether it's too dry or too moist or things like that. That's why I don't bake. That's why you don't bake? <laughs> That's funny. I, I buy it at the, at the stores or I visit restaurants like yours, of course. So we're going to talk more about the opening of your restaurant coming up, too, uh, next month. Excited to see the renovations there at Cibo Vino. We are almost done. Almost done. It is 820, and we are not done yet, so keep it here. We'll